Some of you have asked how to decorate your notebooks and folders. So here are some ways you can spruce up those plain covers. This video will be an overview of some fun and simple ways to decorate your notebooks or folders. You're welcome to get inspired by these ideas and make your own unique decoration to suit your style. One way to decorate is with duct tape. And if you have washi tape, that works great too. You can tape the spine of a composition notebook to add a pop of color to it. You can use an X-Acto blade or scissors to trim the ends like this. Or use the tape to make a corner design. Just tape down multiple colors in a random pattern. And cut a 90 degree triangle out of it. Then stick it to the cover. Another way to decorate is with correction tape. This is used for correcting mistakes on your papers, but I thought, why not try decorating with it? Try a chevron pattern, like I'm doing here, or try some stripes. Another option is gluing paper to the covers. You can find scrapbook paper at craft stores, or you can use paper you might already have around, like posters, magazine pages, maps, or artwork you already made. I have this scrapbook paper with a wood pattern on it, and I think it would work well on the composition book. Use a strong glue stick for this. I like this Elmer's Extra Strength Craft Bond, or this Avery Permanent Glue Stick. Put a good coat on the cover, and press the paper on. Repeat this on the back cover. Then put a heavy book on it and let it dry. After it's dry, carefully cut around the cover edges. And here's an example of this same method with a spiral notebook. If you want to go an extra step and put an elastic band closure on your notebook, check out the tutorial at the end of this video. You can also find the link in the description below. And last, you can decorate the covers with markers. I like to draw with Sharpies. You can of course draw anything you want, but if you need some ideas to get you going, check out these print pattern tutorials here. You can also find the links in the description below. I chose to draw a leopard print pattern and an abstract fractal type pattern. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Feel free to suggest other tutorials you would like to see and share pics of what you made on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Instagram. You can find direct links to my pages in the description below. For more back to school type videos, I made a playlist, which you can find on my channel page. For more tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. For an easy way to add an elastic band closure to your notebook, check out the video to the left. For a simple way to decorate your backpack or bag with an Aztec print pattern, check out the video to the right. You can also find these links and more listed below.